Today's video 10.2 will be starting on page 8 in your packet. Um, and this problem of the day is for you to do on your own. We've already answered the Henry and Carl question um, number 10 and 11, so I'm just going to cross that one out for now. We've already answered that one, but please answer um, Melinda um, the survey question here and then we'll get started. So take a moment, pause the video, read this question, do it on your own, and we'll talk about it in class. So probability, 10.2 in the textbook, page 251, volume B. So you can find that online in your um, volume B book. Probability, theoretical probability is the chances that some event will occur. Event or outcome, the results of some experiment, like flipping a coin, or rolling a die, or picking a card. So all of those kinds of things are an event. Or choosing one of your friends to um, give a gift to, maybe you're going to do Secret Santa at your lunch table. So you pull a name out of the hat of everybody that's sitting at the lunch table. So the outcome would be picking a person's name. You pick your friend Julie, for instance. The sample space is the list of all the possible outcomes in the experiment. So flipping a coin, the sample space is heads or tails. Rolling a die, the sample space is one, two, three, four, five, six. Picking a name of the people at your lunch table, you know, Julie, Lydia, Mary Beth, Sue, Karen, Jade, uh, Molly, those are all the people that sit at your table. So all those names are a possible outcome. Probability of an event. So probability has to be that it's equally likely that it can occur. So there's not um, a die that doesn't have a six on it. Or there's not a deck of cards and you've taken all the kings out of it. It's equally likely. So the probability of an event E, that we call it E, meaning the event, is the number of favorable ways that it can occur. So if you're rolling a die, how many ways can you get a five? Well, there's only one five out of the six possible things on the six-sided die. So that probability would be one-sixth. So here's an example. Here's the spinner over here, which has equal size pieces numbered 1 through 8. Probability is based on equal likelihood. So the sample space is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8. The probability of getting a 2, there is only one of them, 1, 8. The probability of getting an even number, well 2, 4, 6, and 8 are even numbers. So the probability of even is 4 eighths. There should be a P here. The probability of getting a number less than 2, well, that's only 1, so that's 1 eighth. The probability of getting a prime number, prime numbers, 1 is not a prime number. But 2 and 3 and 5 and 7. Prime numbers have only can only be divisible by 1 and themselves. So 2, 3, 5, and 7. They have only two factors, one and themselves. So that's four things out of the eight things on the spinner. Probability of getting a number less than 7, well, that's 6 and 5 and 4 and 3 and 2 and 1. So that's six out of eight things on the spinner. Example number two, spin a number. Now this spinner is not equally likely. This is a biased spinner, and it's biased or favors getting a 2 because three of the sections are a 2. So the sample space is what can you get? The sample space is you can get a 1, a 2, or a 3. It's not how many. Yes, there are five different things that you can, or five things that you can get, three twos, a one and a three. So it's not asking you what is the number of outcomes. The number of outcomes would be, 
if I ask that question, what's the number of outcomes? So I'm going to add that on here. The number of outcomes for this spinner, this biased spinner, is five. There are five things that you can get. Three twos, a one, and a three. What can you get? A one, a two, or a three. So those are different um, questions. The probability of getting a two on this spinner, three sections out of five. So it's three fifths. The probability of getting a five, well, you can't get a five. That's what's called impossible. And the probability of something that's impossible is zero. The probability of getting a factor of six, a factor of a factor or six, oh, probability of getting a factor or a six, well, all of these are factors, or I think it's supposed to say a factor of six. Factor of six, well, one is a factor of six, two is a factor of six, and three is a factor of six. So this probability is five out of five, all five things out of five, or you could say one, it's a probability of one, and that's called certainty in probability. It's definitely 100% gonna happen, certainty. 0% not gonna happen, that's impossible. What's the probability of getting a number less than three? Less than three, well, two, 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 and one. So four out of five of those things on the wheel are less than three. Flipping a fair coin once, what's the probability of getting heads? Well, in theory, half the time you should get heads, half the time you should get tails. So the value of probability is always between, it's a fraction between zero and one. Or you could change that fraction to a decimal or a percent. So it ranges between zero and one, or zero percent to 100 percent. The probability of some event being zero, this event will not occur. That's impossible, again. The probability of an event being one half, this is an even chance or a 50-50 chance of that event occurring. The probability of the event being one, it is certain the event will definitely occur. That's called certainty or certain to happen. There are three blue marbles, six red marbles, two yellow marbles, and one orange marble in a container. Choose one marble at random. The sample space is blue, what can you get? Red, yellow, not how many, what? The sample space is what? An orange. So you can get blue marbles, red marbles, yellow marbles, or orange marbles. How many, what is the outcomes? How many outcomes, if it asks that question, well, we've got to add those all up. Three and six is nine, and two is 11, and one is 12. So the outcomes is 12. What's the probability of getting a blue? Three twelfths. What's the probability of getting a green? Impossible. There aren't any green ones, so zero. You could say zero twelfths, but zero's better. Probability of not a yellow, not getting a yellow. How many marbles are not yellow? Well, all the blue ones, all the red ones, and all the orange ones are not yellow. If two of them are yellow, 10 of them are not yellow. Probability of getting orange. Well, there's one orange out of 12. Probability of yellow or red. We're going to add those up. So there is two yellows and one, oh, sorry, two yellows and six red. So that's eight out of 12. The probability of neither blue or orange. So not blue and not orange. Well, four of them are blue or orange. So that means the ones that are not blue or orange are the red and the yellow, which is eight. If four are, eight are not. Eight out of 12. A deck of cards, and if you haven't played with a deck of cards, I'll tell you a little bit about a deck of cards. There are a total of 52 cards, if you've ever played 52 pickup. The suits are, there are four of them. There are four suits. They are hearts, diamonds, the red cards, 
And then the black cards, which are spades and clubs. So there are four suits. The red ones, half of the deck would be 26 cards. And the black ones, half of the deck would also be 26 cards, half of 52. The cards are separated into three categories. You have the face cards. There are 12 of them. They are the kings, the queens, and the jacks. Aces sometimes have a value of one. There are four of them. The number of face cards, there are 36 of them. And they are all the cards from two through 10. There are four of each kind. Four twos, four threes, four fours, so on and so forth. So two through 10. A standard deck of cards, 52 cards. And they do have to tell you it's either a standard deck, meaning that somebody didn't take the nines out, or that there are 52 cards, so you know they are all there, is shuffled and one card is drawn. Find the probability of a jack. Well, there are four jacks. Four out of 52 cards are jacks. Not getting a jack would be all the other 48 cards, which are not jacks, 48 out of 52. Probability of getting an eight. There are also four eights out of 52 cards. Six or seven, well, there's four sixes and four sevens, so that's eight out of 52. Probability of getting a diamond. One fourth of the deck of cards is diamonds, all the way from the two all the way up through the ace, or the ace up to the king, however you see the to arrange them. So there are one fourth of them, or 13 of the cards out of 52 are diamonds. A face card, well, that's 12 out of 52. We talked about that above. A black six, well, there's the spades that's six and the clubs, six of clubs. So those are two of them, two out of 52. Neither a two or a three. Well, there's four twos and there's four threes. So there are eight that are a two or a three. So that must mean there are 44 that are not neither a two or a three. Find the probability of not getting a diamond. Well, if 13 of them are a diamond, that means 39 of them, 52 minus 13, would give you 39 out of 52 that are not a diamond. The probability of getting a one, that's zero. There are no ones in a deck of cards. So no, no chances of picking that. The probability of getting a heart. Well, we have four suits again, and it's the same as getting a diamonds, it's the same as getting a spades, it's the same as getting a clubs. A fourth of the deck, which is 13 cards out of 52. The probability of a king, four kings out of 52. A department store has a weekly drawing in which the winner receives a $50 gift certificate. About 300 customers register each day. So each day, 300 people, it's a weekly drawing. If Marin registered three times this week, what is the probability that she's gonna win this week? So the total number of customers is about, is about it says about 300, is about 2,100 customers total in the week. Marin registers three times. So her probability of being successful, three chances out of the total 2,100 registrations that people had. So she doesn't have a very high chance of being chosen, three out of 2,100, which is a lot better than trying to, uh, for instance, beat the New York State Lottery or win at that. So we'll go over some more of this tomorrow and uh, practice probability.